My hat brim floats in space. I was banished here in the summer of 84, when the white horses roamed free within the bounds of the sea of barren souls. It came as no surprise to me. I was known for my elaborate larceny of the oracle's key. I had stepped cautiously through the well-guarded corridors and twisting staircases of the tower. The whole edifice smelled exceedingly of morning dew, born unto a sunbeam and the fog of the dawn. The walls seemed to pulse and shake under the weight of every step I took. Was the building responding? I, I was bereft of all good reason and so continued to climb towards the key. Crying children were locked inside each brick, demons in the floorboards, my heart beat in rhythm to the drums coming from above me, and polytonic clusters of sound creaking in my ears, flesh, eviscerating my sanity in one sharp blow. I screamed into an outburst of uncontrollable pain. It ran, ran for me. My bones split as the fists and batons of the Plutarchs played my tendons like the snapped strings of an untended guitar. I collapsed. Trials, prisons. Then, the proposition. Choose to leave or stay in prison for an indefinite period. They gave me a solar sail and suit at the very least. I would be charging the Zelvian galaxy by myself forever. My body atrophied. I lost any semblance of reasonable thought. I began to just exist. I am the universe, and my hat brim floats in space.